Hey guys, welcome back to another video on Blaze 2K and these are the Unreal Air Augmented Reality Glasses. Now, I cannot stress to you how amazing these are. You might be wondering, are you sure they're AR glasses, Blaze? They look a little bit like just sunglasses, stylish, lightweight, pocketable sunglasses. No, that's where you're wrong. These things are full AR glasses and you can almost see inside through the, the lenses there. They've got two amazing full HD 1080p per eye OLED screens that project a 201 inch IMAX like sort of a screen wherever you are whenever you want it's absolutely amazing and when I first tried these guys my mind was blown and I think your mind will be blown too now in this video I'm going to try and show you what it looks like to look through these as well as the cool devices you can use with the Unreal Air including your Steam Deck your PS5 Nintendo Switch and all the cool AR apps that Unreal have built themselves not to mention the fact that you could watch films, TV shows, it's so awesome and I can't wait to show you. But just keep in mind that what you're seeing on YouTube is going to be a tiny fraction of what they look like in real life. It's absolutely a night and day guys and it just doesn't translate over to YouTube but I'm going to try my best. Anyways guys, please drop a like, hit the subscribe, click the bell icon if you want to see more in real air content. Let's get into it. So there's a lot of stuff I love about the Unreal Air augmented reality glasses. But number one, the thing I love most is the fact that they look like normal sunglasses that you'd wear out and about. They're sleek, they're fashionable, they're modern, they're lightweight. And I think if you're wearing these out and about in public, I don't think anyone would bat an eyelid, eyelid and think, hey, is that guy wearing something on his face? They look like regular sunglasses. It's not until you look at the inside that you see that there's a lot more going on in these things and there's a lot packed into this and I can't wait to tell you all the stuff it can do. So the Unreal Air has two Sony Micro OLED OLED displays in here with 1080p per eye. So you're getting full HD per eye um, that support up to a massive, a massive 201 inch IMAX level OLED display that you can have anywhere and the best thing about it is that it all fits in this little package here you can shove these in your pocket take them on the go enjoy them at home wherever you want you can play your games on watch your favorite films and TV shows in in your own personal cinema in something the size of a pair of sunglasses it's absolutely nuts and I love it all right guys it's time to get into the unboxing so we're going to be unboxing two accessories as well as the headset. Here's the Unreal Adapter. The Unreal Adapter looks kind of nice, doesn't it? Very sleek. And then there's the Lightning to Digital AV Adapter. This is going to help us mirror our iPhone. Um, here's the Unreal Airbox. Very sleek. Love the glossy logo. Um, very premium feeling and looking package in here. I like this. And it comes with a case. Look at that. Comes with a nice case, you can shove in your pocket, shove in your backpack and keep your glasses nice and protected. Comes with your USB-C cable for connecting to your devices. Very nice. And we've got our manuals, instructions and a nice little cleaning cloth. Sweet. Um, inside we have the extra nose pads. Very good. We have the lens prescription template for your opticians if you want to get prescription lenses. And the cover for the, the glasses if you want that higher contrast, if you're in a very bright environment. Here's the glasses themselves. Very nice, very clean. They look like a very stylish pair of sunglasses. And inside, you can tell there's something going on. We've got a USB-C connector on the earpiece bit here. Very nice, very sleek. And I like how the USB-C cable extends it a little bit to wrap around your ear. And that's a really good placement there. So we've got the nose pads, the cloth, the glasses prescription template. You can get prescription lenses made for. Um, the cover, the USB-C cable, the case, and of course the glasses. And then we're going to open up the Unreal adapter. And this is going to let you connect it up to your PS5, your Nintendo Switch, um, all your devices. <laughs> um, very nice. And if you want to connect it to your iPhone and mirror your iPhone, you're going to need this little thing. The Apple Digital AV thing, which connects to the Unreal adapter, and boom. There we go. Plug that into your iPhone and you're good. And there's the cover. Like I said, if you're in a bright environment, you might want to put it So as I said, on. it's got OLED. So that means you get your deep blacks and your vibrant colors. It looks absolutely crispy. You also get a 60 hertz refresh rate, which is perfect for those fast paced games, whether it be FPS games or racing games. You also get 46 degrees field of view, which is pretty respectable for AR glasses. And you also get 49 PPD, which is pixels per degree, which means there's virtually no screen door effect, unlike those other bulky VR headsets that are on the market right now. 
right now. So it's going to be great for reading text, reading books, playing games and seeing the text in games, which is fantastic. It's got two open ear speakers on the back here. Like I said, it looks like a fashionable pair of sunglasses and it weighs under 80 grams. 80 grams that's impressive now it also supports prescription lenses so if you are a glasses wearer like me you can get some custom lenses ordered to give you a lens template so you can take it to your local opticians and get your own custom prescription lenses that snap right in here super easily and it's also got Rhineland TUV certifications meaning it's got blue light protection good for your eyes and it's also flicker free so you're not going to be getting any annoying flickering as you did with those old 3d glasses back in the day which used to give me headaches it's also got controls on the bottom here for your brightness control so you can adjust brightness control on the fly it's also got the power button you could also it's also got a proximity sensor in the nose piece up here so when you take it off your head the screen shut off inside and when you put it back on the screens light up again so to conserve your battery power in your devices that you're using it on it's absolutely full jam-packed full of technology including a gyroscope accelerometer a Mag magnetometer <laughs> um, so basically it can track your head in three degrees of field which means you can turn your head left and right up and down side to side and it should be able to lock your AR experience in front of you pretty still it's also got adjustable arms so you can get that custom fit in your face which is perfect it makes it more custom to you and makes it more comfortable it's also got adjustable and removable and swappable nose pads which is great now I've said it before and I'll say it again, this thing is an absolute game changer for entertainment, your movies, your TV shows, um, and just experience in the metaverse, right? Um, but also for gaming, whether it be the Steam Deck, the PS5, Nintendo Switch, Xbox, Cloud Gaming, Xbox Cloud Gaming, you could do it all with this and we're going to talk about it and show you how it runs and how it looks. So one thing I really like about the Unreal Air is that Unreal has designed this amazing immersive AR experience through the Nebula app, which you can download on your Android phone. And basically, it's a portal to the metaverse, essentially, where you've got this big home screen that's easy to navigate, intuitive, um, that allows you to run immersive AR experiences, whether it be games, applications, and it lets you do regular stuff as well, like watch Netflix, browse YouTube, have different windows, and just jump in. To AR and augmented reality in general and like I says the beauty of AR is that it's not impeding your vision of your surroundings right it's not like on a VR headset where you're in your own little bubble and you can't see anything outside you're able to see everything going on around you but you're getting these digital overlays with apps games widgets telling you the time telling you the weather telling you the date um, you know showing you the news letting you browse the web watch YouTube everything content heaven right without you without blocking off your your surroundings which is absolutely amazing and they're always adding stuff all the time to this and it's something i'm really really enjoying um like i said it's a portal into the metaverse and this is one of the big cells or draws to the in real layers i believe but even if that's all it could do right that would be pretty damn amazing as it is. For $379, that's how much these things cost. They're also available right now to buy if you want to go buy it on Amazon. Uh, I'll put a link down in the video description. You can get it before Christmas. They're super, super accessible. I can't believe they're just mass producing these things with how good they are. They seem like a next gen accessory, you know, um, next gen technology. But that's not all you could do with them. You could also use them to up your gaming experience as well. Now, one thing I've really enjoyed lately is the Steam Deck. You know I cover the Steam Deck all the time on my channel, but one of my biggest gripes in the Steam Deck is the seven inch regular LCD screen. Now, I wish they'd put an OLED in the Steam Deck um, because I've tried the Nintendo Switch OLED and it's absolutely gorgeous. But now with the Henry layer, I get to experience not just an OLED screen, but a 201 inch OLED screen. So I could play all my Steam Deck games on a massive screen, vibrant colors, deep blacks, super just amazing looking. Um, I get lower input lag because this, the, believe it or not, the displays on this actually have lower input latency than the Steam Deck's built in screen, which is nuts, right? Plus, plus when you're using these with your Steam Deck, you get better battery life because it's only having the power two tiny micro OLED screens in here as opposed to the bigger Steam Deck display, right? So it's a win all around for the Steam Deck. Now, that's not all it does. It can also connect up to other HDMI devices as well using the Unreal adapter over here. You see it? So this allows you to connect to 
basically any device that outputs HDMI, your Nintendo Switch, your PS5, your Xbox Series X. Um, and even if you buy the Apple video out adapter thing here, you can actually connect it up to your iPhone and mirror your screen, which is pretty damn amazing too. So let's talk about the PS5. So basically what you'll do, all you need with the PS5 is the PS5 itself, a power cable and a HDMI cable. You don't need your TV to play the PS5 anymore with the Unreal headset. Um, all you have to do is get your adapter, which is $59 on Amazon. You plug the HDMI cord from your PS5 into this adapter and then plug a USB-C cable from the adapter to the headset, to the glasses, and boom, you've got a 201 inch screen with your PS5 right in front of you. It's absolutely nuts and games look gorgeous. They feel gorgeous, they run beautifully smooth. Um, it's just an experience I can't put into words, honestly. It also works with the Nintendo Switch. I was playing Cuphead on these earlier, which it again just looks absolutely stunning with those OLED screens inside here. Um, you could also run Xbox and Xbox Cloud Gaming, which is a big deal because you can download the Xbox Cloud Gaming app on your smartphone, mirror your smartphone screen, connect your Bluetooth controller up to your smartphone, and via one cable from the glasses to your phone and your controller, you could obviously play just about any AAA release via Cloud Gaming, which is absolutely crazy as well. I love it. I love the experience with this thing. So we've talked about how you can mirror your smartphone screen and basically do anything on your smartphone in the Unreal layer and have that cinematic experience. You could play your consoles, any HDMI output and device on the Unreal layer also, your PS5, your Nintendo Switch, your Steam Deck, your phones. Um, but another thing that it can do, which is pretty new, is the Nebula Mac app, which allows you to run up to three virtual Mac desktop screens via the Enri layer once you're plugged into your M1 MacBook, which is an absolute game changer again for productivity because you've got all that extra screen real estate now. You could do photo editing, video editing, you could type a Word document, Excel spreadsheets, you could do basically anything you want with up to three extra displays. Um, absolutely amazing, great for productivity. So this thing is killing it. It's knocking it out of the park for entertainment, for media, TV, films. It's brilliant for gaming with all the specs the refresh rate the field of view and just how crisp it looks with the oled and for productivity with the mac being able to have three virtual screens that you could use there's just nothing that this thing won't do and i'm literally while i'm editing this video and filming this video just wondering all the use cases i could use this thing for i almost want to buy a second pair for different use cases you know and i want to get my wife up here i think for christmas i love these i absolutely love them and i think you'd love them too. Now, I think these glasses are a stroke of genius, in my opinion. You're not locked into one ecosystem. You're not forced to just use Unreal's AR experience through the Nebula app. But like it says, the USB-C device paired with the HDMI adapter here will allow you to run just about any device that outputs, outputs video through these, these glasses and have these show up or it hit essentially be a TV, right? Um, so you're not locked into any sort of ecosystem. Um, and obviously you also get to enjoy the beautiful AR experience, right? Now there's a vibrant community popping up around the Unreal layer glasses. Um, if you go onto Reddit, there's a Reddit community now where people are sharing their thoughts, sharing ideas, talking about what they want to do with them, what they are doing with them. So if you want to pop over there and join the community, go do that. And let me know in the comments, is there something you want to use these for specifically? I'd love to know. Um, and Unreal seem to be committed to supporting and updating these like already since these came out um a lot of the community have been asking for steam deck support right so instead of having the steam deck screen move around with your head having the steam deck potentially locked in one place so you could look left and right and not have you know basically have the steam deck be fixed in real said they're listening and they're actually working on something so they want to support the steam deck it's something they really care about and they really care about community feedback which is which is just a plus when you're buying a product like this. Now the question you're all probably wondering, I've probably told you in the video at some point, but how much do they cost? Well, I'm gonna tell you, 379 bucks, which if you ask me is an absolute blinder, amazing deal, because let's just keep in mind, there are a pair of glasses, cool, stylish, light pair of glasses that look good, um, that are comfortable to wear, and that give you a 201 inch, IMAX level display in front of your face wherever you can play it you can use it discreetly you can use it publicly alongside family whatever you want 
for 379 that you can connect it up connect up to all your consoles any of your consoles shove it in your pocket take it out and about and play with your steam deck your phone watch netflix while on the plane while you're flying while on the train and when you're in a car as a passenger just to kill time there's literally almost nothing you can't do with these things um so 379 for a 201 inch oled imax cinema basically a tv and a pair of glasses come on that's a damn good deal. A damn good deal and really good value. Um, the Unreal adapter, you have to buy separately. This is 59 bucks. Another 59 bucks well spent because like I said, this opens up your Unreal Airs to being able to be used with your PS5, your Nintendo Switch, um, your Xbox, and any other devices essentially that use HDMI, right? And what is crazy is that these aren't Kickstarter products. These are not listed on Indiegogo. You don't have to wait six months to get your hands on these. They're available right now on Amazon. And I'll put a link down in the video description and the top comment to where you can go and buy these right now. You might want to buy it before Christmas. A Christmas gift to yourself or a Christmas gift to someone else. It would be like the Christmas gift of a lifetime. They're absolutely amazing. And to be, feel, to be fair, they feel like next-gen technology. Um, I've not seen anything like these before um at least as available readily available as these and that look as good as these do um like i says use cases being you know you could sit in the bed if you're laying in the bed at night with a wife and kids the lights are off they're trying to sleep and you're you're in you've got insomnia you can't sleep pop these on watch a couple of videos on youtube watch netflix hook up to your steam deck or your console, your phone, and just play some games while you're laying in bed, not disturbing anybody, right? That's the beauty of these. You can. You can do stuff discreetly with them. Um, you can also, if you're traveling in the plane, on in a car ride, on the train somewhere, um, put these on. No one will give you a second glance. They'll think you're just wearing sunglasses, and you could immerse yourself in games, films, TVs, or even the Nebula AR experience and just have a blast in general. Um... And maybe you're in the living room with your family and your wife or kids are hogging the TV, right? That happens to be all the time. And you just want to, you want to go do your own thing, but you can't get a chance because the TV is getting used by everyone else. Put these on, boom, load up your 201 inch personal cinema in front of you. You don't have to worry about anyone hogging the TV anymore, right? Because these are yours. So there you go, guys. That was my roundup of the Unreal Air augmented reality glasses. I absolutely love these things. I know I've said it a million times. I'm just smitten with them, all right? Just the things that I could do. And I've got a pair of prescription lenses that I've ordered to use on these um, coming on Monday, which I'm excited. So I'm going to be in these even more. Even though I've got bad vision, I'm so, somehow able to still see pretty everything pretty clearly um without glasses and without prescription lenses in so i'm excited to see what the experience is like with prescription lenses in it it's going to be amazing so i'll put all the links down below in the video description to where you can go buy this thing on amazon right now as a gift for yourself or a gift for a friend um and I'll also put a link to the Unreal website so you can go check it out. Anyways, guys, if this video was helpful, if you're hyped up about the Unreal layer and about the future of these augmented reality glasses, specifically Unreal's version, um, definitely let me know in the comments and subscribe and click the bell icon for more. And like I said, if, if this video helped, if you liked the video, please drop a like. Anyways, guys, I'm going to get back to some gaming on my 201-inch IMAX cinema screen. Speak to you later. Okay, the other body's taking some damage.